Side. No, not at all. Uh, you know, if anybody thinks I'm going to sit there with my hands crossed when we're down by 40, I mean, they, they got the wrong guy, okay? I was brought in here to change the culture. I'm going to coach with passion, and my players know that. They also know I'm going to fight for them. So, you know, as far as that's concerned, I think a lot of people like to infer as to what's going on and what's being said. Nobody knows what I was saying. Nobody knows what we were discussing during that timeout, except for me and the players. So I have no regrets. I have no apologies, none whatsoever. I'm going to continue to coach the same way, and we're going to keep working and improving and battling and fighting until we're up by 40. Fran, do you ever worry about officials? I mean, they're human, just holding that against you? The good ones don't. When the emotions channeled at the officials or the chair, whatever. I, well, first of all, I didn't have much official. Uh, I didn't have much at all towards the officials. To be honest with you. Is the message more than anything else toward the players? And, and in, in this case, I should say, what I should say is, it was toward the players to take care of what was happening in the game. Now you can infer whatever you want to infer from that. Because when a game is physical like that, and you know, it's being officiated that way, then we have to adjust. We didn't adjust. Did you receive any kind of a communication with the Big Ten no. or here at Iowa at all about the incident? Nor should I have. Do you think that can your players can feed off that in a way? I mean, you, I mean, your goal is to use that as a positive, isn't it? To try. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to challenge them to compete. We have to compete on every possession, every game. Uh, we didn't do that. Well, Aaron White said afterwards, interesting, that the officials were allowing a lot to go on, and you guys didn't take advantage of that the way Michigan State did. You know, and that's it's exactly what happened. He's very bright, very astute player. And I don't think it's easy sometimes to realize that as it's going on. You know, you sort of think that they would. That's my job to make sure that they do, that at the front end we prepare them for it, and then as it's going on, you know, deal with it. And we, we weren't dealing with it. You know, we addressed it, we talked about it, and then it was time to take care, take care of it. We didn't take care of it. And, and that won't happen. Not, not on any team I coach. That's not going to happen. I'm telling you right now. Will not happen.